All right, what's up everyone? Gonna make a video on Adrenaline Rush and a few of the details. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, that is the name of, actually F1, my bad. That is the name of your passive. So, um, Adrenaline Rush has uh, two parts to it. One, uh, Junk Queen can deal something called wound damage. It's like a status effect over time. And then for each uh, wound damage that you do, each one point of wound damage, you get two health back. So, as an example, um, I guess before I do that, I should just explain uh, the difference between wound and impact damages. Impact damage is damage that uh, you do deal immediately, and wound damage is that tick over time. So uh, you see this um, bot right here. If I were to use Carnage, you'll see that it took a lot of damage at first, and now it's taking a little damage over time. Now, um, I do have a little workshop code I can use. So if I do this, I go down to 10 HP. And I can actually show off um, how much healing you get. So this will deal uh, 90 damage, 40 wound, and you should gain 80 health back. So you'll notice that my health is going all the way up. And I went from 10 to 90, so that is correct. Um, so uh, the, uh, wound is a status effect. So it can be stopped, cleansed, uh, amplified, uh, you know, um, uh, reduced, etc. So, uh, for example, Bath Immortality Field, if they are not taking that wound damage, like if they have the minimum health and they're not actually losing more health, you do not gain that health. Uh, allies can boost your damage, so like Mercy, um, Zenyatta can help you. Um, I'll go over those more later. And, and enemies can reduce your damage. So, for example, uh, Orisa Fortify, um, you know, uh, enemies did that. They just have armor in general. I'll get to that later. And then they can also be cleansed. So, for example, uh, Kiriko Suzu will stop uh, the wound uh, whenever, you know, happens. So you'll get the wound you would have gotten at first, right? But then you don't get the rest of it after the cleanse. Um... And uh, objects can be wounded, but they cannot give you health. So, for example, um, uh, Torbjorn turret, um, Symmetra turret, uh, they can be wounded, they can't give you health. So, let's say um, you are about to kill someone. Let me actually do this. You're, let's say you're about to kill someone, and they don't have enough health for you to get all that wound back. What happens? Uh, well, you get it back immediately. Notice how I went straight from 10 to 90. Um, so, uh, it is better to finish off targets in order to get that immediate health. Um, now, the ways you can take advantage of it, right? So, uh, I already talked about how if you kill someone, you get that health back immediately. So, do try to focus fire someone. Um, Zenyatta is really nice on that because, uh, he'll just put the, uh, his orb on someone and you just kind of, like, melt them down because Queen does a ton of damage. Um, you can also bait out abilities. Uh, in order to uh, pull out your stronger abilities. So, um, Gracie, your, uh, you know, Dragon Knife, or Dragon Blade, does the least amount of wound damage. Carnage does the next amount. And then your uh, t uh, a Rampage does technically the most, but I'll get to why it is and isn't later. So, um, that's kind of like the order in general that you want to use. You can use it in other ways. For example, if you use Carnage to scare out a Reaper and they use uh, Wraith, then you can use Jagged Blade to pull them back and kill them. Um, so that is an example of doing it in the reverse order. Uh, but we'll get to that later. Um, change your gameplay based on your supports. If you have a Lucio, do not be afraid to dive in, or, you know, rush in and rush out um, because that Lucio should be able to help you. Um, Kiriko should also be able to like Suzy you in case there's like a purple, so don't be as afraid of Anna's. Um, but uh, it really just depends on uh, your team comp and their team comp. Um, you want to shout after um, you have taken a bit of damage. So let me go back to full, for example. And uh, let me use uh, shout and then carnage. Notice how I am not gaining any health here. I am at that 600, right? Now let's do this so we can skip the cooldown timer. So let's say I take a bit of damage, and now I use Shout and I use Carnage. I am now gaining that health while having that over health from my Shout. Um, so you want to use Shout once you've taken a not 
huge significant, right? You wanted to like balance it. It really depends on how much damage you believe is going to be incoming and how much uh, healing you believe your supports can give you. So, uh, if your uh, if the enemy team is like if you're just doing a one on one with the enemy team, take a, like a, a, enough that you think you'll you'll lose your over health, um, but you'll still benefit from your adrenaline rush out of it. Um. What else was I going to say? I have like a list of things on my left side. By the way, there's too many things for this. Um, wounds also stack. So um, the uh, only exceptions are if you do the returning hit. So like if I like were to throw that and then bring it back and then melee someone, those two do not stack. It just refreshes the timer. But everything else stacks. So I can go um, Gracie Knife into Carnage, you know, and uh, those two will both uh, stack on top of each other. Um, and the last thing for the advantage is, uh, if you see them grouped up, you can wound multiple people at once. Um, so for example, with Carnage, I can hit both these guys at the same time, and I get health from both of them. So, uh, the issue is if you, like, hit, like, both supports, for example, um, they will just end up healing each other. But that is healing that they are providing each other that they are not providing to the rest of their team. So hopefully your team can take advantage of that and uh, mow them down while they don't have supports. Um, or if it's like a support and a damage, uh, try killing off the support first so that they can't heal the other damage. Alright, now that I got to the nitty gritty, I'm going to go over uh, each weapon's uh, abilities um, wound damage. Starting with Shatter Gun, there is none. You don't do any wound. At no point do you see the little ticky noise. Gracie has multiple exceptions. Um, if you land impact, you do 30 wound over 3 seconds, which will give you 60 health. And that ends up being 10 damage per second and 20 healing per second. So if I were to just stab it in, you should see that I gained 60 health overall. I went from 10 to 70. Um, now, Gracie returning um, uh, and melee both do... 15 wound damage or 30 healing. So if I were to throw this here, pull you back, you'll see that I go to 30 health after 3 seconds. So that is 10 healing per second. Uh, it's off by like 1 point. Sometimes there's decimals that don't round properly. Ignore that. Um, overall, you'll still see that you get the same um, you know, amount of healing, more or less. Um, and this is the same for if you were to stab someone. It should say 40 or 41. Um, now, uh, with Gracie Impact, you can only get one person, but for missing, uh, sort of throwing and, like, missing or, like, even, like, the returning thing, you can hit multiple people, so I can hit both these two, and I should get, um, uh, the combined, uh, 60 healing from both of them. Um, and the more you hit, obviously, the better. I'm gonna, I need to scroll down on my screen. Okay, so, uh... Carnage, uh, this one has a cast time of 1.6 uh, seconds. This is important. I will bring it up later. Uh, it does uh, 90 impact, 40 wound, and 80 healing over 3 seconds. So, um, uh, I've already showed it to you before, but just uh, to have it in the same part of the video, you'll see that I go to 90 health. Um, and this does 13.3 damage per second, or... 26.7 healing per second. Now, this number matters. I will uh, explain in just a second. Um, Rampage uh, has a cast time of uh, 0.74. Um, it does 40 impact damage and then 60 wound, which is 120 uh, health over 4.5 seconds. Now, um, this is the only wound that you have. That well, Actually, let me go ahead and kill you. Let's show that both at full health. Just to show off... Um, I'll, I'll only do uh, these two. Um, so I hit the both of them. Um, so I gained 120 from each, which makes it that I gained uh, 240. Um, it's 241 because like the rounding issues I was talking about earlier. Now, um, this equates to 13.3 damage per second or 26.7 healing per second, which is the same as Carnage. Um, so their, their healing per second is the same. The only difference is, uh, your, uh, ult lasts longer and it makes them purple, which is why I value Rampage more than I value Carnage. But, um, 
if you're in a pinch and you need that health, um, uh, also consider the cast time for Carnage. Um, but uh, if you can like be behind cover and then pop out and use Carnage, it will be the same healing as using your ult. So be careful uh, saying, I'm low on health, I need to use my ult. You don't need to. Um, now, uh, there are a few combos you can do um, with your abilities. Uh, and I'm only going to go over a few of them because you'll get the general idea. But uh, because you can stack your, um, your wounds... Actually, let me go ahead and make this Reaper. Because Reaper has, uh, I believe... Uh, 250 health, which is the most health out of any um, damage. I don't believe it. I'm including uh, armor and stuff, so uh, we'll get to that later. But um, we're going to go over uh, some combos you can do. So uh, if you throw Gracie and then pull them back, you can use uh, do two options out of that. So you can use Carnage, and this will stack. Both of them do that, and you can also like melee in order to get that extra damage on that. Um, and, uh, you can, instead of, um, using Carnage for the wound, if you just need to kill them quick, you can use your, um, uh, uh, scatter gun. So, that. Well, I missed the head, but if you get the head, you, you'll kill them. So, um, you can also, uh, throw, um, uh, Gracie far and hit multiple people, and if you, um, do it, far away enough um they can't hit you but you hit them you know what i'm saying like if you're like over here and you throw it there uh position yourself i even like hit it the person behind so i got the impact uh uh you know wound from um the backside, and i got multiple people so i healed myself for quite a bit um the last one i want to talk about it's a little complicated so um let me go ahead and get my ult this one is you can either throw straight down or you can throw the person in the front um rampage and then pull them in and then carnage so this is a a doozy so uh you pull them in and if they're close enough uh, you would have also pulled them in in order to hit them all with carnage i didn't but um that is uh if you don't know how to get that achievement by the way that is like probably the easiest way to do it is um uh throw it at someone run into them whenever you pull it back you might hit one of these two as well and then you carnage um now there is a glitch with that achievement in case anyone's wondering um uh, i don't believe wizards ever fixed it you do have to play as a different tank die and then switch to junker queen i do not know why that's the case um if you really want to go um Wrecking Ball, jump off the map, change character to Junker Queen. Um, or actually, just in the middle of the game, if you see that you switch character, you'll be like, yo, I guess I can do that. So, that is that. Let me go back to my list. I have so many things to talk about. Enabling um, uh, Adrenaline Rush. Let me actually just go to this list of heroes. Um, I'm going to go to your allies right now and talk about which of those uh, boosts your healing and the other ones that are just good in general. So, Ana is nice. Uh, she has two ways to boost your healing. One of them is Nano Boost, which is her ult. Uh, and it will boost your damage by 50%, which in turn uh, boosts your healing by uh, that 50% as well. Because you're increasing the wound damage as well. Um, Biotic Grenade also increases it by 50%. Uh, so, But that's only for the healing, not for the damage. If you combine the two, you do 2.25 times the more, the more healing. Which is a ton. You go from healing, um, like, uh, what's it, uh, let's say if, if you were gonna do 100, you would instead get 225, which is, like, half your health. <laughs> um, uh, so, Baptiste, he can only amp it through Amplification Matrix, and this only works for Gracie, because Gracie is a projectile that goes through, um, Amplification Matrix, but you get twice as much, so, like, that's kind of cute, um, and if you throw it through and uh, you hit someone, uh, that 65 impact becomes, uh, what, 130? I believe it's 130. And then your uh, wound becomes um, uh, 60 over 3 seconds. So uh, that's like 190 damage. She just shatter, Scott. Uh, shatter, shatter gun shot. Uh, Brig uh, can't actually 
um, boost your healing, but uh, Briggs Ult Rally does give you over health as if it was like your like commanding shout. So if you've taken damage and she pops Rally, you can still heal while having that over health. So uh, that's a good combo to keep in mind. Uh, Iliari does not actually boost you in any way. Um, but, uh, if she were to, like, get a kill, if she like, used her ult, um, typically they're all gathered next to each other anyway. Um, and if you use a Carnage, uh, you gain, uh, the, uh, wound damage from all of them. And if they blow up and die, you instantly get that health back. And Carnage does have that passive where the, for every, uh, enemy that you hit, you reduce the cooldown by two seconds. So, let's, let's say you hit, like, two people, you reduce it from eight seconds to, uh, four seconds, and so you can use it again sooner kiriko um so she does not boost your healing at all but she does cleanse the purple which allows you to heal so if you're versing anana uh kiriko's nice to have life fever um does not have uh, a way to boost your healing however you can be a little more aggressive if uh you go in rush hit someone with like carnage or something like that and then as soon as you hit them life fever pulls you back in um because like, at that point, you might be at low, at low health, um, and the wound damage is already being applied. Uh, sometimes you don't want to get pulled because you do want to end that kill with a scatter shot in order for you to get that health instantly. But having a backup life weaver is nice to have there. Lucio does not boost your healing, um, but can pull you in and out of situations to make it easier and safer to use stuff like Carnage um, to like run around and attack the enemies and stuff like that. So... Um, also, Sound Barrier does the same as your Overhealth and Brig Rally, where it uh, um, covers up the uh, portions of your health that were missing so that you can heal while you still have a way to, you know, tank the hits. Mercy can damage boost you. Um, I believe uh, it changes depending on whether she's in a uh, Valk form or a regular form. Um, I don't remember, actually. I don't, actually, maybe it doesn't. No, the healing changes. I don't think her boosting does. So I believe it's like a flat 25% damage boost. So yeah. Moira doesn't uh, help you boost anyway. I'm not saying Moira's bad with Junker Queen because I've seen her in uh, Overwatch League being used with Junker Queen. But it's a different niche. It's not for your adrenaline rush. And then Yoda has the Discord Orb in order to uh, damage uh, boost uh, whoever uh, is, has the orb on them. You know, So you'll deal i think 25 more damage on them um so uh keep that in mind that it's really nice to focus fire to kill someone to get your health instantly with zenyatta all right now uh ways your adrenaline rush gets hurt so um uh, let's go with the prevent healing first um any kind of purple so we got ana in terms of her biotic grenade and uh jungle queen uh like a mirror match rampage uh those make you purple you can't heal this is where you need that kiriko um there's damage reduction. Armor reduces damage by 30%. Just flat out. Like, you know, like I think Torbjorn has uh, armor. Uh, Bastion has... Uh... Oh, and his is my... a little weird because I think he gets it in um, the other form, but whatever. Reinhardt, you know, uh, has armor. I'm not going to go through all of them. That's a, lot. That's a huge list. Um, what I recommend for that one is shoot off the armor first with your gun and then try to apply the um, uh, wound damage. Um... So, uh, uh, Ana nano boosting the enemy team because they get a damage reduction of 50%. Uh, Bastion has a passive of Ironclad, which is when he's in his turret mode, he takes 20% uh, less damage. Uh, so, just kind of wait till that turret mode ends and then try to like destroy him. Um, uh, Cassidy has uh, his combat role and his Deadeye. I don't know what to really say about this. All I can really say is uh, throw a knife in him for a uh, combat roll, bait it out, and then pull him in and then kill him. For Deadeye, um, you can try to kill him. I recommend just hiding. It's whatever. Just wait it out. Uh, Orisa has a Fortify and Terra Surge, um, which this is an annoying matchup. It's not impossible. It's just annoying um, because you can bait out her. You, I think you have more ways of baiting out her cooldowns than she does. Because she's got Javelin Spin and um, uh, Fortify to like negate or reduce damage. And I'll talk about that later. Um, but uh, you have uh, Gracie, which is on a pretty low cooldown. Uh, Carnage, which is a lower cooldown than at least like Orisa's stuff. 
Um, and then uh, your melee also like deals the wound. So um, I think you have more in your arsenal to do that, but still, it is a tough matchup. Uh, Roadhog has take a breather, which reduces it by fifty percent. Uh, Ramatra and um. Uh, Ramatra blocks is a seventy percent. Doom block, a Doom fist block is eighty percent, but it's only in the front of their bodies. Um, you can go behind them or just throw Gracie at them, and whenever it's done, you pull them back in and just murder them. Um, let's go to preventing damage. Uh, uh there's Arisa Javelin Spin, um, which uh, it uh, it just pushes you back as well, and you can't really do much about that. Uh, Genji Deflect. It does not actually deflect damage back to you. But it just prevents the damage. Um, and uh, there are two that are only for Gracie. There's uh, Diva, which is um, uh, Matrix. And then Sigma, which is Granitic, uh, Kinetic Flux. Um, uh, those two, if you throw Gracie, it'll pull it back. But it does not stop your melee. does not stop your Carnage. does not stop your ult. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, Waste the Cleanse uh, Wound. Uh, we got Kiriko with the Suzu and Swift stuff. We got, uh, oh, by the way, uh, the, uh, Swift stuff is on a 7 second cooldown, and Suzu is on a 14 second cooldown. Your cooldowns are way faster. So, bait her out. If you can land a Gracie in her, she will try to either Suzu or teleport out. Either way, that's one of the cooldowns. And then, um, use Carnage to get out the other one. She will have to have used both Swift stuff and Suzu, and which at that point, you either kill her, uh, or you can Rampage and try to kill the rest of her team. Um, uh, Reaper has Wraith form, um, but uh, that's his only escape option. Once you bait that uh, with like uh, Gracie impact, you can try to carnage him or do the reverse. Try to carnage him. He might try to Wraith out of there, and then you knife him and pull him back in, and he's got no way to escape. And although it might sound like you don't want Reaper next to you, um, you one v one with a Reaper is tough. A four v a five v one, you know, versus that Reaper. Uh, you know, you bet you being the five, him being the one is actually super simple. You melt him down. So pulling him in is actually not that bad of an idea, as long as like, the tank's not there to protect him. Uh, more fade. Um, that's your only escape option. Um, so once you bait that out, try to pull, get a knife and pull her back in. Um, you know, uh, Zarya bubbles. Um, so the way that you get around this one is baiting, but like the incremental baiting. So. Uh, use your scatter gun to get someone lower deal damage, right? Uh, if you shoot it at Zarya, if she's smart, she will hold on the bubble. But if she's bad, she will use the bubble immediately on herself, um, which then you just wait. And then um, bubble lasts 2 seconds, and your carnage takes 1.2 seconds to cast. Um, or I guess 1 second plus the 0.26. So, so um, wait, I count your head 1 Mississippi, then use carnage. Rah! Right, and then it will hit her afterward. And once she gets wounded, I don't know why, but low level Zarya's are like, I'm wounded, I need to cleanse this. So they will bubble again. And then she has no bubbles, and her bubbles on, are on such a high cooldown. I think it's like 10 seconds if it's her own, 8 seconds if it's an ally. Um, so uh, you have like a good period, like, like, like 6 seconds, where she just doesn't have a bubble. Um, and then she's like frantic. And she shouldn't have charge either if you like played it correctly. Um, so try that out. Now, there are two um, abilities that I can think of that both cleanse and prevent damage. One of them is uh, uh, Zen's Tranquility. Honestly, not much you can do about this. Once he pops it, he just kind of like goes at it. Um, you can use Rampage in order to purple the rest of the team. Um, but uh, Tranquility does last a long time. The purple doesn't last as long, I don't believe. Um, so be careful. Try using it like midway of Trank or just even like after Trank. And then the other one is uh, May Quail Freeze, where it'll cleanse it um, and, um, you know, she's immune to damage. However, this lasts up to five seconds. Count in your head four seconds and then use Carnage. And uh, as soon as she gets out of the thing, she will get hit. She might try to wall you off, but if you time it right, she can't wall you off in time. And she'll be taking the wound, go around the wall, not kill a uh, uh, killer, or at least like you've baited both cooldowns. As soon as that wall uh, goes away, she's got no cooldowns. Murder her. Um. Last thing I want to mention is for um uh shields. 
uh, shield in this game, I believe it's uh, after three seconds of not taking damage, they will regenerate. So, for example, Symmetra, Sigma, whatever. Uh, however, if you get wound on them, they can't regenerate that uh, uh, shield because uh, they are taking damage. And your wound lasts like three seconds. So, unless it gets cleansed, that is three seconds where they're taking damage. And then an additional three seconds where they can't regenerate their shield. So if Sigma's using his uh, 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 Flux or whatever, right? And you land a Carnage on him, he's not gaining that uh, his shield back. He'll, he'll gain whatever damage your team does with the uh, Flux. Um, but, uh, you know, like, it, it delays his uh, shield. So, you know, even if you're not shooting him, you do delay the, uh, um, the shield regeneration. All right. Um... I I do also want to go over some general stats. Um, so for wound uptime, if you check over buff, which is where I got this source from, um, the average amount of wound time is around like eighteen percent. Um, I want to say, uh, looking at um, uh, some top junker queens wound time and then my own wound time, it's about twenty percent. So like that checks out right uh you want a lot of wound if you um if you check the damage at the end of the dn like the stats total it should be about uh, your wound should be five times less than your damage or you know uh somewhere uh, roughly around there not exactly um and if you are dealing more damage than you are self-healing it's because you're either dying too quickly so you can't get that heal um you're you've met you never got hit like let's say you're like in bronze and they just like ne couldn't hit you i don't know um uh you've been at full health this entire game so like your supports are like um up your butt and like you just can't self-heal because they're healing you um you're not using your abilities at the right times um or you're just purple the entire game i don't know ask for a kiriko um and then uh if you have more that okay, if your damage is less than five times your healing, either your supports saved you a lot, uh, the enemy team couldn't get the final blow on you, uh, you're not aiming your sc scatter gun or you're just not using it. Um, the enemy team was all grouped up and so like you hit multiple wounds a lot, um, or you had a pocket Anna with biotic grenade. <laughs> Um, because like every other scenario boosts both your damage, which would boost your healing, but Biotic Grenade just boosts your healing. Um, I did kind of want to go over the stats of like each individual hero's healing compared to yours, but I think just the general over overview of like the numbers uh, should be good enough. Um, so hopefully this video helps someone out. Hopefully you guys learned something. Um. You know, uh, if you guys need any more videos or want clarification on anything, let me know. I will try my best. If, I, if there's any misinformation, call me out on it. I'm not afraid to say I'm wrong, but I believe I got it correct. A lot of my information is from the uh, fan wiki, uh, overbuff, and just general experience and testing and stuff. So, um, yeah, thanks you guys for watching. Hopefully this helps someone out. Peace. Oh, please stop the video.